Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update uh, before the weekend gets here in regards to um, how things are going and, and what we're, what our plan of action is. Um, and I think you will agree with me that we are living in a time of history that will forever shape who we are and possibly shape how we do things. I just want to remind you that all our youth activities are suspended uh, for now. Uh, we are closely monitoring the local, state, and national uh, levels of government and taking their recommendations on what we need to be doing. Um, so I hope that you have been practicing social distancing this week, uh, staying the, the six feet apart distance, um, washing your hands regularly, and following the rules and guidelines that have been placed out. And I hope you're staying safe and healthy. As we move forward, um, we are going to look at different avenues of what what I like to call digital youth group, what that looks like. Um, I honestly don't know, but we're going to try a couple things this week and see if we can't figure out um, how this is going to work most effectively. One of the biggest things, a couple questions that I have asked myself over this past week is how do you facilitate community interaction during this time? That's always a question I ask myself because as humans we crave connection with people and so how do we facilitate community interaction at this time well we're going to try our best to utilize our social media platforms that being Instagram and Facebook so what we'll do we'll upload a video uh, on Sunday morning it'll be ready to go at 11 o'clock uh, we'll have links posted everywhere uh, so you'll have complete access to this um, and during that time, it may be a video from myself, from another staff member, or another adult leader. Um, but this week's video is on anxiety. Um, it's taken from um, another organization that, that puts out youth teaching videos. That night, I will jump on and do a brief summary of what uh, I got out of the video and what I think it's trying to tell us. And I think the key to this is going to be interacting online whether it's a question that's been presented um, or something that's been shared or something a video that's been shared I think the key to this in for order for us to maintain community is going to be interacting online and so I think the way we're going to do this is just asking questions throughout the week on Facebook on Instagram and other means that I may find useful I know this time is going to be hard, it's going to be difficult, it's going to be awkward, and it's going to be uncomfortable, but I can assure you that we are going to do the best we can to maintain a consistent feed and a consistent uh, community. The second question that I have wrestled with this week is what kind of community is needed at this time? I know the school district has given us a date uh, to look forward to, to get back to some sort of normal routine. But I also know that date is not set in stone. So we don't know what the future holds. We have no idea what to expect. The world is, this, this virus and this, uh, this thing is changing at a rapid place, at a rapid pace. You don't know what's going to happen in the next five minutes. You don't know what guidelines are going to be put out in the next five minutes. And that can be hard. And I think that's when anxiety can sit in because we're cooped up in our homes or wherever you may be. Can't really do anything. You're advised not to go anywhere. So what do you do? You have a lot of time to sit and think. And while sometimes that's a great thing, a lot of times that can be a very dangerous thing. So I hope through this first week of study that we have together on this idea, on this topic of anxiety, that we will be able to engage together how to, what is anxiety and how to fight through it. Um, and so the, I think the best way for us to do this is through community interaction online. You'll get emails, you'll get updates throughout the week on this kind of stuff. Um, and I hope you'll find it helpful and resourceful and engaging. I just want to remind you too, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. on the church's Facebook page and the church's YouTube page, uh, we will be live for worship. We'll have some music, we'll have a time of prayer, and Dave will give us a message of hope. I pray that you will join us during that time. 
after that service is whenever the video will drop for the, the youth ministry um, teaching. We'll also have a video dropping from Miss Kathy on the children's ministry information if you want to be a part of that, if your family wants to be a part of that. Um, our number one goal is for y'all for us to be safe, is to be helpful. Our number we also want to be a part of this community. So interact with us, be a part of the conversation this week. Let us know how you're feeling. Um, we miss you greatly. And we pray for you daily. And we can't wait to see you again. And always remember that as we sort through this together, that we are indeed in this together. Let me pray for you. Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the breath that we get to breathe. Lord, as we don't know, uh, as we live in some very uncertain times, God, we know that you have a plan for what is going on in this world. Or we don't have a clue what that is right now. But God, we know that in time you will reveal that to us. God, we know that you are teaching us something during this season that we are in. Lord, I pray that you just be with us as we attempt to interact online during this season, as we attempt to be a community of believers in a different way. Because God, we know that you have called us to be Christians, not just in the four walls of a church, but to be Christians outside amongst our family and amongst the community. God, my prayer is during this season that we can be the church that we are called to be, even if we aren't meeting on a regular basis. Lord, we ask you to be with every family that is represented, who is listening to this video, who is interacting this week. God, I pray we ask you to give them a safe safety, keep them healthy, so we can see them again soon. We ask all these things in your most heavenly name. Amen.